when did the us first starting the indian diaspora in a major way like what were the what were some of the pull factors and uh, was the us always warm in their reception to indians so uh, the indian diaspora increasing in size in the us is a uh, is a relatively recent phenomena since uh, 1965 that's the time we can say that this actually started because till 65 the us had a law which uh, decided the immigration in the us would be based on the country of origin so that there was a quota and that that primarily meant that there was more migration happening in the us from the european nations so 65 the us congress did away with this and that's when we start seeing migration from non european nations so that is uh, the kind of time we look at the timeline that indians started going abroad but again if you cut uh, cut another 20 30 years i think you see uh, one one would see since 2000 that the indian diaspora has become more vocal as far as the political landscape is concerned and i think there's a reason for that see the first wave of migrations the first immigrants who went for example uh, if you look at some of the candidates now kamala harris's mother these are people who went there primarily to study they were a highly educated people they went there for their masters or their phd they were people who were into research so they were professionals who were going there either for higher education, research, or doing such jobs. So the political part comes with the second or the third generation. And to your uh, question that has the US always been very warm? Well, I, I think the honest answer is a mixed one. The US, well, yes, is a land of, at the end of the day, everyone's an immigrant there, right? Whether you've come from the UK or you've come from Italy or you've come from India. But there is a distinction between the migration that has taken place from Europe and the migration that has taken place from Asia. And the Asian migration is a more recent phenomenon. And I, I think it will take a little while before the Asians feel that much at home as Europeans do.